presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to Jay in Boston. Hey, Jay, what's going on? Hey, Tom. You really assemble a stable of amazing people. I mean, they all have different strengths, different areas. And yeah. Man, each one is a superstar in their own way. I've, you know, I've seen it over the years. Well, listen, man, we appreciate you being out there growling a problem with us. If you guys and ladies and tigers and tigresses weren't out there, folks, we would have zero. Yeah. It's unique, and it's you know, and it goes back to your basic belief of an open platform, which you you know, I've heard you say that years ago. Right. And it's really bearing fruit now. I it, would it, think. It, yeah, I agree. It is. Yeah. Cook it, brother. Good. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We have five days a week. We go ten hours a day. We go twenty-four hours a day in the internet at tfnn.com. Always remember, folks. Whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. It's going to be pretty wild. We are kicking into the Labor Day weekend. And uh, bottom line, September 1st, tomorrow, that is absolutely uh, phenomenal. Pretty crazy. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you learn to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 60, NASDAQ up 54, S&P's up 15, gold contract up $11.90, trading at 1326. You got silver up 12 cents, trading $17.63. Bingo right there. Platinum, platinum. Uh, where is platinum? Platinum's up uh, six and a half bucks, nine ninety-seven an ounce. We got copper up a penny and a half, three ten a pound. Light sweet crude up a buck thirteen, forty-seven dollars ten cents a barrel. Notes ten-year note up six ticks, one twenty-seven oh nine. Thirty-year bond up fifteen ticks, one fifty-seven twelve. Both notes and bonds want higher price. King dollar, king dollar down one hundred eighty-three ticks. Trading at 92.640. The euro is at 119 to the US dollar. The yen is out here at 109.5 to the US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. We'll start with the SPY. We're going to get to the NASDAQ real quick because the NASDAQ is going after its highs. So the SPY right now, 49 million shares traded. You're at 247.40. You're over the downdraft of the 17th, which that's the, the high of that is the uh, 246 area. You're into the downdraft. Uh, basically, the, the low of the high, which we're into, is was 246.83. Uh, the high is 248.91. Bottom line, this, this also uh, very well could get up into this level tomorrow. That's if, in fact, uh, we can basically close over the 246.60. And in this particular case, I suspect uh, more than likely what you're going to see is that we're, let's see, so you could do, oh, it's gonna be, it'll be a close call. Uh, I just, we, we could get down to the 246.68. It'd be hard to get to the 60. Uh, we, we pushed down there this morning. There was a bias sitting right there at 11.30. So we'll see, we'll see how this thing shakes out. I do expect we're going to be back to the 247, which is only 39 cents down. NDX 100. Now, this is where the test is going to be uh, coming out. So NDX right now trading up 49 bucks. You are at 59.82. We've hit 59.45. Uh, 59.95 is the high. If we go into the futures, the NQ futures, I think we hit a high. I think we actually tagged the high. So 59.89, 59, oh, interesting, just missed it. Okay, so the high is 59.95.75, also inside the futures. Uh, NDX 100, what do we have at the NDX? The NDX, uh, the, I mean the Qs, the Qs are there. The high of the Qs, 145.96. Uh, we hit 146.02. So bottom line, we'll see uh, if it can hold it, if it can, if it trade there, if it can stay up at that level. 
uh, are if, in fact, it gives back about 45 cents. If it gives back 45 cents, that's going to be uh, a failure once again because it's going to be a failure not on the high. It would be a failure of the shooting star that we had out there on August 8th. And they, those things love to get tested, by the way. Uh, that's, uh, I suspect we're going to do at least 30 million shares. That's what we did, 30 million. But you're going into this uh, 80 million share day. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract, folks. Had a low out here today of 1302. We're at 1327. You have 344,000 contracts traded. This gold contract is on its way up to the 1377 area. The 1377 area, what you're going to see, we put this up in a continuous contract. That's the swing high from the July of uh, 2015. Uh, it's got right away from this whole consolidation in a huge way, too. Uh, and it makes sense because it's consolidated quite a bit, pushed into those swing points, Pushed in with monster volume. Bottom line, monster volume continues. You get buyers. Um, let me just see something else if I can. Yeah, let's see. So, yeah, thus far, it looks like that's the, that would be the price projection. I'm just curious whether we've broken any other real trends. Oh, that's interesting. Well, well, we'll we'll get up to that trend first. But if we, you know, if we get to this 1377 uh, with conviction, then the game is going to be like pretty incredible because the the game then would be 1600. And where I'm going with the 1600, we've actually broken that trend from that 1600. But bottom line, you got to get from swing to swing to swing on the way up. Notes. So the note, the bond, gold. And the dollar, a bottom line is saying that this volatility is going to go up in the next 48 hours. So it's going to be intriguing watching where we're at here because we only have one more trading day. And bottom line, then we get a three-day uh, weekend. Uh, but what, what, what is happening right here is that what bonds also did out here today, the 10-year, 10-year is at 127.09. Uh, you've done monster volume once again. We're 2.2 million contracts. They're just laying this thing on. So, um, bottom line, uh, higher prices are coming at us. King dollar. What do you have with King dollar? King dollar out here. DXU. King dollar just can't handle a bid once again. Uh, we've gone from a price point of 93.305. Right now you're at 92.630. And that little baby, um, you know, the swing point that it should have been able to at least touch was 94,040. Couldn't handle it. Bottom line, you're going right back down to this 91.550 area. Uh, you have a confirmed ABC structure on the way down with a price projection of 90.019. I expect, number one, you'll get there. More than likely, we're going to the 88 mark. That's the way this thing seems to be uh, straightening out right, uh, right now. Some of the higher volume stocks, and this will be a low volume market out here today. Uh, you had Vince Micro up 34 cents. You have Sienna down 250. Uh, Micron Technologies up 32 cents, that is. You get Facebook up a buck 88. You get Nvidia up $3.12. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Dow Industrials right now. Up 59, Nasdaq's up 55, S&P's are up 15. We're going to be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. 
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now are up 64. NASDAQ up 56. S&Ps are up uh, 15 and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Andy Heck. Andy has been having a nice vacation for himself. He's back today with flying colors. And don't forget, folks, Andy's got a great show every Tuesday, Thursday, 5 to 6 Eastern Standard Time. Get them right on your cell phone. You go to TFNN.com. You just hit Tiger TV. Andy also has a couple great newsletters. He's got the Tectamento Commodity Report and the Daily Essentials. You can come over to our website. You can test drive both of these right now. You go to TFNN. You go to newsletters. You go to trading newsletters. And in a commodities market, we got action everywhere. Andy Heck, what's going on? Hey, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. A lot of action while I was gone and a lot of action today. Well, there's a lot of action today. I mean, that gasoline almost went limit up. That's pretty that, intense. That, that gasoline, I mean, the, the expiring September contract got up to $2.17. It's the highest price in a long time. And you could be sure that they're going to be raising prices at the pump probably by the time the show's over. I, there's, there's no doubt. <laughs> Looking at this unleaded, folks, for October, uh, it's gone up 13 and a half cents today. The, the up limit, it, it hit 178.25, and the up limit, I think, is 178.50, 178.75. The, the, the crack spread, Tom, uh, is up $4.60 today to 27.38. That crack spread was under $15 a few weeks ago. Wow. So, you know, that thing is almost doubled. Um, you know, look, Hurricane Harvey has, has pummeled. By the way, my son and daughter-in-law uh, live in Houston. Wow. Bummer. And... They 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 were fine. They never lost power. They live in a, a apartment building. Okay. A couple of blocks from the convention center, and you know they said that it was pretty organized where they were. And and he's actually back at work today. Because um, yeah, because Houston is a huge sprawl. I mean, it's a monster. Yeah, right. So, but anywhere outside of the central business district was pummeled. Yeah. And you know what what we've said, we saw a big distortion in this um, uh, energy complex. We saw. Earlier in the weeks, um, um, the prices of the uh, distillates and the gasoline were rallying, but the price of crude was going the other way. But right. today, crude today crude caught up, and uh, you know I, I I reckon that we're going to continue to see problems because these refineries are not coming back online for a while. Okay, so what makes you think they're not going to come back online for a while though? 
Uh, right now, what, what we're seeing some explosions in some chemical factories. The areas well, yeah, that's, where that's they the hydrogen are. Per, I mean, uh, yeah, right. not hydrogen right. peroxide. What is the stuff that women do their hair with? That that it's. Uh. It's a chemical. I don't. I'm yeah. not sure. Exactly. But yeah. But yes. Yes. But we we are seeing. There's still some. There's still a lot of flooding at the biggest refineries. Okay. And you know that could cause some some real shortages. Believe me, the prices have would have come down already if if things And they things went the other way okay. dramatically. Okay. They cool. went the other yeah. way dramatically. And and crude oil itself. Look, you know, you're going to see uh, what you're going to probably see in the coming weeks when the statistics come out. You're going to see big declines in inventories of gasoline and distance. Yeah. And you'll probably see some bills in crude oil. But um, right now, I, you know, th there's a lot of offshore production that's also been affected here. Um, so so I, I kind of think oil head back towards 50 bucks a barrel. I don't expect it ex to explode past there. But um, gasoline prices, we'll, we'll keep our eyes on that one. Even if they come down a little, they're a, they're a hell of a lot higher than they were a few weeks ago. Oh, man, quick, too. Here, we, yeah. we get, let's just take a call. We get Max from uh, Fort Lauderdale. Hey, Max, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How you Can doing, I man? Can I on your show and ask Andy a question? Sure, absolutely, man. Uh, Andy, you, you you were talking about gasoline, and that's the, what I wanted to ask. How much longer do you think uh, gasoline will run? Oh, I you know, I think Max, it could probably get up above two bucks if, if the refinery problems continue. But this will be over sooner rather than later. But I think that the you know, what we're going to see is we're going to see higher gasoline prices than before the storm. Uh, so I think we do have potential to run to two bucks on the October contract. Uh, that's kind of the outside shot. But um, I think we'll be lower than 178 uh, probably next week or the week after this time. That That's kind of what my gut's telling me. These things have come yeah, a long the, way. The September contract's up to 210, I think. Uh, the September contract is up to 214, but it expired today. Oh, okay. Right, it came off the board today. So you see a lot of monkey business with that. I mean, that sucker was up twenty-five and a half cents today. Well, the, the so, October one was about a buck fifty, wasn't it? Right, the but the, it's the a October $1. one is dollar right seventy-seven. Now. Right, up thirteen point three eight cents as we speak. Yeah. So you know, and it was it, it opened today. When did it open? It uh, it opened about a dollar sixty-four. So yeah. huge moves. Big I mean, number. you know. Expect volatility. That, that's what I, I, I think. I think we're going to see a lot of volatility here. Uh, and we have to remember, you know, hurricane season is not over. It's only September 1st. So, you know, who knows what's going to happen and, next And, you month. know, for all you folks up north, right, this might be a really good time just to call your heating oil guy and, and get it right now. Because yes. the heating oil also spiked, folks, okay? Right. You know, heating oil two weeks ago was 155 now. <laughs> what I'm gonna, you know what I'm going to do, man? I, I'm right after this. I'm, I'm calling the marina. I'm going to have them fill up the, the boat because I got a 250 mile, 50-gallon gas tank. So it's like... <laughs> they, right. They might have some inventory at cheaper prices. You well, might be they, able to they, get, they, get they're, they're definitely... They're, I'd say most marinas don't understand that, okay, you know, they get the things full. It, you know, you, right. you just went up 35 cents in two days. So it's like, right. okay. They're, they're not listening to TFNN, right, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, anyway, man. Uh, you know, the other thing I wanted to point out today, I think that silver mm -hmm. is a tightly coiled spring uh, and we could come in here next week one day and we could see this price a lot higher than we're seeing it right now, Tom. Oh, uh, listen, I, I my, my take, I, I'm with you, man. My take is that silver's on its way to this, uh, you know, 18, 19, well, 1895. Well, it gets to 1895. I think we get to 21. I, and yeah. just like if, if yeah. gold gets to 1377, I see, think we see it north of 1428. Well, I, the well, North Korean, the North Korean situation is serious, and it ain't going away anytime soon. And gold is reacting to that with each missile launch. Yeah. Well, you know the way that the gold market, the bond market, and the dollar are reacting right now. It seems to me that. Uh, in the next uh, 48 hours, we're going to have some heavy volatility. And the markets are closed after tomorrow. So it's like, right, okay, what's happening, right. you know? You know, we go. And by the way, end of grilling season, end of driving season. And you know what? This week is supposed to be the quietest week of the year. And you know what? Uh, you throw all that out the window, right? Yeah. Hey, so, Max, are you trading gasoline? Up. Oh, we lose them? Okay. Sorry. Oh, that's a, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, so we want to also talk about natural gas, Tom, yep. quickly. Um, natural gas, uh, 
bullish key reversal trading pattern on the daily chart today. Uh, the EIA came out with a 30 billion cubic feet uh, injection, which is exactly spot on what the market was expecting. But I got to tell you, these are very low injection numbers for this time of the year. And we finally reacted to, to the flow into storage. Okay. Um, natural gas has been trickling in not rather than flowing in this year. And, and quite frankly, um, if we get a cold winter, we're going into this, this winter season with very, very low inventories. We get a cold winter, uh, four or five bucks, not out of the question. Well, I, I, was, <laughs> I would expect after having, you know, four feet of rain, I suspect that anyone and the Northeast is kind of worried about what kind of snow we're going to get, right? <laughs> That's right. How much snow is uh, 50 inches of uh, rain? 50 feet. Wow. One, one inch of rain is a, equals a foot of snow. I know, wow. The only reason I know that is that I asked that question yesterday in the Tigers and the Den. That's serious. Told me. That's sick, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stay right there, folks. Andy and I are coming right back. Tom O'Brien has just announced that he'll be coming to Boston September 30th for a free workshop, The Art of Timing the Trade. Join Tom O'Brien Saturday morning, September 30th at the Boston Marriott in Burlington, Massachusetts, as he breaks down his trading methodology and provides you with the tools to become a more successful and profitable trader. Everyone that attends in person will receive a free signed copy of Tom's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. Daryl Martin from Apex Investing Institute will also be presenting for 90 minutes at this free event. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. Join me in Boston on September 30th as I return to my hometown for a workshop about the art of timing the trade. I look forward to seeing all the tigers and tigresses for this special free event. All action starts early at 7.30 a.m. with a continental breakfast and wraps up at about 1 p.m. Topics that Tom will be covering during his presentation include quality volume, cause and effect, ABC structures, swing points, and much, much more. For all the information on this free Boston event taking place Saturday, September 30th, visit the front page of TFNN.com. If you're looking to open your portfolio to a world of opportunity, consider the new Market Safe Emerging Currency CD from EverBank. This three-year U.S. dollars nominated CD gives you exposure to five equally weighted currencies from Brazil, China, India, Indonesia, and Turkey at a time when experts see great potential for global growth. Even better, it features a 7.0 leverage factor, which means you could earn a potential market upside payment of seven times the CD's performance at maturity with no cap if the currencies increase in value over the CD's term. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. The September 28th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a division of TIAA, FSB, member FDIC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Uh, Dow Industrials are up 70. NASDAQ's up 58. S&Ps are up 16 and a half. The NASDAQ uh, NDX 100, folks, is going right after its high. Uh, the high in the NDX 100... Uh, uh, we take a look at this, uh, let's see, we, the three Qs, you're talking uh, 145.96 and you're at 145.98 right now. We're talking to our man, Mr. Andy Heck. We are talking commodities. 
And, of course, don't forget, every Tuesday, Thursday, Andy's got a great show right here, 5 to 6 Eastern Standard Time. He did the show today at 2, but it'll be on again at 5, so you'll be able to listen to that show, folks. Yeah, so it's... So, gonna... hey, as we're talking, the, the precious metals are making new highs here. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Let's this take a look. Is, uh, yeah, this is, look, at gold up of uh, oh, 13.28. Yeah. You got silver up, almost bumping up against 17.70. Oh, Platinum's turning. up above 1,000. Everything's running here. I mean, who wants to go home short into the long holiday weekend with North Korea there? There's no doubt, man. There's, <laughs> right? Know. There's no doubt about that. And, you know, Tom, one thing that, that you know, while I was away, copper broke out to the upside. Oh, and yeah. It is holding every bit of its gain. Right. Uh, we're up at $3.10. Next level of resistance is at around $3.2745 uh, $3 on the uh, continuous contract chart. Uh, China's been on a buying spree in commodities. Yep. Um, you know, we've seen it in iron ore. We've seen the Baltic Dry Index go up. We've seen copper, aluminum, nickel, lead, zinc, and tin all post gains over recent weeks. Uh, even lumber is moving higher. The industrial sector is moving higher. That's why it's one of the reasons I like oil here, too, because I am quite sure that China is buying oil because the Brent premium over West Texas Intermediate has, has blown out. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, a lot, of, a lot of action in commodities during the quietest week of the year. God knows what awaits us next week in September. Well, you know, what's kind of neat here, right, is that, you know, as you said, the speculation is China's buying it. Well, you know, China, folks, doesn't have a Labor Day holiday. <laughs> they have yeah. a different holiday, right? You know, it's kind of well, cool. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like yeah, we're, we're yeah. used to, you know, that, okay, this would be a slow week. But guess what? You know, maybe it's not a slow week over there. So No, no, not a slow week in China. And, and commodities are global. You know, yeah. I mean, this just goes to show you it is global. But the, the hubs for commodity trading are in Chicago and in London. And, and you know as well as I do, oh, in sure. August, uh, Europe closes down for business. Oh, Europe, especially, yeah, the no doubt. Yeah. No there, there's no one. You could hear a pin drop in the trading rooms there. Everyone's right. on the beaches right. or whatever. Yeah. But um, look, it's, you know, I, I'd say volatility is going to be the norm rather the exception for the weeks following the end of September. And, you know, equity markets fasten your seatbelt because the fall tends to be a very choppy time. Yeah. Well, the only thing this market still knows is Sherwin Williams green paint, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is for sure. That is for sure. And you know what? The bond market looks really good here, which I think is highly supportive of gold. Yeah. Oh, it definitely is. And the yeah. thing that's wild is that, you know, a bond market that keeps going up like this is not supportive of the marketplace. But bottom line, it keeps going up. You know, right. we're, we're right. at 2.1 right now it's for, for the uh, 10 year folks. That is the lowest, I believe, in six months. It is. It's the lowest in six months. We were at the low for the last six months today. If we do for this, the year, we're right in the middle of the range. The, the, the low is 1.5, the high is 2.6, and we're at 2.1. So Amazing. It, yeah. it, it is amazing. So if you're going to buy a house, you're going to refinance, you're going to do all of the above, go do it, folks, because now is the time yep. to do it. Absolutely. We, you know, we even saw grains bounce today. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and they've been under such pressure. Well, since, what, you know, it's going to be intriguing. July. Now, what's going to happen, um, you know, when the, when this storm first came in, let's look at cotton for a second. Cause when the, when oh, cotton, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cotton's cotton, cotton, Texas, big cotton producer. Yeah. And you know, we've seen cotton pop. I mean, really pop. I think some of the crop has been destroyed there. We, we, well, we'll, you know get what a, they said? They What they said, Andy, is that uh, they, they had had a huge um, crop, okay? And they had mm -hmm. already taken a lot of it in from the field, and mm -hmm. all of that is gone. They, right. they whatever they, they, they didn't, they didn't have it in silos. They had it in something that was covered. When that came in, they, it, that was the first thing that was gone. But that that's, was a, that was a wind versus the the water. That, that's cotton. Know. Cotton's got well, it's very light and fluffy, and uh, you know, it, cotton's cotton's got a lot of upside here because you cotton's got a double whammy going for it. Uh, the lower dollar has made cop cotton exports from the U.S. to China and India okay. much more attractive. And when the price dropped below 70, you know, when it came down in May so sharply, um, you know, that that was bullish alone. That held the 66.15 lows. And now with the Texas cotton being questionable or gone, uh, you know, we can get back to 80 cents very easily in cotton. Yeah.
And uh, you know, look, we're seeing a lot of action in all of these markets, and we have to remember that the dollar, the dollar did break that 91.88 level. Oh, uh, yeah, listen, the 90, the, the dollar is a confirmed ABC down to 90.019. So yeah, I, I'm kind of looking at 88 you know? here. You oh, know, I, I suspect mean, because that's where we're going. And right. we, I see the euro. Listen to this one. We we had the dollar rally 27 percent when they announced the end of tapering. Right. Okay. So, uh, the same move in the euro would bring the euro to a dollar 31 uh, on the exchange rate. If a dollar 31 is like 85 on the dollar index. Yeah. So yeah, you know, I, I, looks to I me, can see it. Yeah, it looks to me like I mean, once the if the euro gets by 121. You're talking 140 like in a heartbeat, folks. <laughs> and you're talking commodities to the moon. Yeah. You're talking gold way over 1400 silver over 21 bucks, uh, uh, copper, you know, probably 350 ish and crude oil, you know, back 50 to 55 because that's a significant move in the dollar. Uh, the dollar's already down, what, 12% since January? And it doesn't look like it's stopping. No, it doesn't. It every, doesn't. Ba every bounce is a dead cat bounce in the dollar, Ooh, you know, there, so far. There's sellers out there in the dollar in a big way, man. They're it's lurking. And even I, I saw uh, um, an interview with Mnuchin today, and he basically, you know, he's not. they're not talking up the dollar. They're talking it down. Yeah. So Why, why would they talk it down? They feel that uh, it'll it'll be better for U.S. business to increase the uh, attractiveness of U.S. exports and uh, multinational profits. That's what they're looking at. Yeah, the, it'd be interesting, though. The multinational profits would go down. The exports mm -hmm. would go up. You know? The exports from the U.S. will go up. Yeah. It's probably good for our business, you know, environment. I think it'll be pretty bullish for grain prices, Tom. I mean, oh, for sure, for all well, commodities. I mean, There's no doubt because yeah, it's priced in commodities, com right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, we are the United States is the world's largest producer of corn and soybeans. So that's where you'll see it directly, uh, you know, because that's where exports will go up. You'll see the, the, the lower dollar affected in all commodity prices. But you might even see it in oil. We might start exporting lots of oil, you know. Yeah. The, the, you know, I mean, it, it looks to me that Oil still can't catch a bid. You're up a buck today, but big deal. Well, no, right? I know that. Oil you know? is oil's problematic. I think 50 bucks is a sweet spot. I think that uh, it's going to be controlled around that level. Um, but uh, I do like what I'm seeing with the Brent. And don't forget today, we had a release from the SPR today, and oil was up a dollar. So very yeah, interesting. Only, but that was only 200,000 barrels, right? That was a half a million. I saw a half a million barrels. But in principle, I agree. It's like, okay, yeah. you released from the you know reserve, and oil goes yeah. up. It's like, really? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay, man. Well, listen, we love that you're back. And, of course, uh, 5 o'clock right here, folks. Uh, you just go to TFNN.com, hit Tiger TV. You're going to get a great show. Thanks, Andy. See you, Tom. See you uh, next week. Have okay, a happy man. Labor Day. Uh, you too, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Coming back in for the next 20 minutes, in for the close. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. 
These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 85. You get the NASDAQ up 64. SPs are up 18 and a half. And, uh, you know, <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Um, banks, okay? So, good old Wells Fargo, folks. You think you hear everything? You know, guess what? Just stay tuned a little bit longer, and it keeps getting better. So Wells Fargo has been having this scandal going on for quite some time. They come out this morning, and they turn around and say, well, you know what? Uh, we have just found that the amount of fake bank accounts that we have opened for clients and basically took clients to the cleaners, um, we were off, and we were off by like 67%, okay? Wells Fargo raised its estimates by, uh, for how many bogus accounts employees may have created, a sign that the bank is still struggling to move past the scandal that sparked record fines and congressional investigations. So they already get fined on this. They're going to get fined again. An outside review into more than 160... Now, check this out. This is crazy. Into 165 million deposit and credit card accounts found an additional, an additional 1.4 million accounts that were potentially opened unauthorized. <laughs> the revised estimate covers from January of 2009 to September of 2016, um, almost twice as long as the period examined in the initial review. The disclosure of even more fraudulent accounts threatens to catapult uh, Wells Fargo back into the political hot crosshairs. They should, because they should, the bottom line is that they were, the CEO was already out there testifying that, yeah, we get this thing under control. This, you know, it's a, such a joke, folks. It's insane. What blows my mind, um, so, let's see. The company said that it has paid or identified 10.7 million in customer compensation related to the investigation. The figure includes 7 million of refunds, up from 3.3 million. Uh, it also includes 3.7 million raids where it's described as complaints, processes. Big deal. That's nothing, man. If that's all they're going to give back, they'll just continue to do that over and over again. Yeah, and there's, it, and there's no way they just found that out, folks. This is, it's, the thing that's such a bummer here about the whole banking structure, it is so embedded into the banking structure that you can commit fraud on customers. That's, that's how this thing shakes out. And it's, it's amazing. But guess what? I guess if you're in that structure, you realize you just keep making money hand over fist. No matter what you do, no one goes to jail. Not even close to going to jail. My God, going to jail. They, they don't even know what that word is. That's for everyone else. That's not for someone that's working for a bank. That's for sure. The, it's, 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 it's crazy. It's like, you know, it's, it's just like over the top. If we take a look at Wells Fargo, the, uh, so let's see, where it, Wells Fargo right now, you know, the market hasn't even penalized it that much, you know? Uh, we've gone from $59 to 51 Now, listen to this, because so this gets kind of interesting. The, when I say that the market hasn't um, penalized it, um, 
so Pitcher, we used to do business, well, I used to do a lot of business with Wells Fargo. So after that happened, what ended up happening, I moved like a few accounts out. I didn't move the main account out. And, you know, my son says to me, he says, well, listen, you're doing business with them. And he's right. And so watch what happens now. This is the, this is the bummer about it, is that there's no doubt you, you make a personal choice business-wise, right? Personal-wise, it's, it's simple to do. Business-wise, it's not, and the reason that it's not has to do with your sponsorships, has to do with clients, has to do with because we do everything so electronically now. Um, that it's like, okay, so do you really want to call up, like, our sponsorships, folks, we've been, you know, when we get a sponsorship, we normally have them almost forever. We, you know, I've had TD Ameritrade for 12 or 13 years, Nadex for 10 years, Everbank for nine years, you know, so we have good sponsorships. It's like, okay, do I really want to call them up and say, okay, I'm going to give you a whole another set of instructions of how we're going to get paid. You really, you really don't. It's like, okay, why, why do you want to do that? <laughs> it's, you know, because everyone's busy. That's what it comes down to. But so I can see that the stock hasn't really got caved, and more than likely, that's a lot of it too, because they probably have a huge amount of business accounts. But guess what? Um, I have to rethink that whole deal because it blows my mind that the, it, blow, it absolutely blows my mind that they went to Congress, they testified in Congress, and then all of a sudden they find that many more accounts. Like, that's really wild. 877-927-6648. Let's go over and take a look at the uh, queues because it looks like the queues are going to close at an all-time high. Queues out here. Uh, you're at 146.10. And bottom line, uh, the all-time high is uh, 140, 145.96. Yeah, so that anemic volume, no, no doubt about that. But bottom line, that's, uh, it's up there. Uh, we take a look at the, uh, let's go to the small caps, see where the small caps are at. Um, small caps right now, up a buck 36, trading 139. That baby looks like uh, probably, yeah, 141 could be game. Uh, the SPY, what's going to get intriguing here, of course, tomorrow is going to be a um, very slow day. Uh, the SPY right now is coming into its high. The, the low of the high in the SPY is 246.83. We're at 247.63. That's saying that the SPY, the, the high of that is going to get tagged, which is 248.91. And if we go take a look at the future, let's see inside the futures where we're at. ESU7. Well, futures got quite a way to go, I guess. The futures were at uh, 2472. You get 24.88, and the, the low of that is 24.67.50. You know, the uh, we go to the GDX. You know, gold no doubt has caught a nice bid. GDX has caught a bid. Uh, that's up 56 cents. That's going after the uh, 24.88 high from the 13th of April. Uh, if we go take a look at the GLD. GLD's got action underneath it, big volume too. GLD, 8.9 million shares. You're at uh, 125.74. And this is, yeah, you know, you had the consolidation. It's away from the consolidation. This uh, GLD's on its way up to the uh, July high. And, you know, it's, it's, it's actually the G. Well, this is where this gets interesting. So watch what happens. This is the egg and the chicken, right? They buy the GLD, the GLD sponsor has to buy physical gold. Buy physical gold, what ends up happening? Physical gold goes up, they got to buy the GLD. So when you get the trend which, with which we have right now, and what you'll see at the end of today, um, this, there'll be a, a net buy out here today. Um, because what you, what you do have is that uh, derivative-wise, the banks would keep the net asset value straight all day long in the GLD, uh, but what you do have at the end of the day, uh, they will actually come in the physical market, and as that price comes into the close, they're going to know what the price is into the close. They buy the amount of gold that they know that they have to have in order to keep that net asset value at the same price. And uh, right now, the net asset value, and they, see, it's interesting, even for $125.74, 
The net asset value is it's beautiful. It's it's one twenty five seventy one. That's how it's supposed to work. That the net asset value that's intraday too, by the way. Uh, that the net asset value stays as to what you're buying something for. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials right now up sixty eight. Nasdaq is up sixty. S and P's are up sixteen. We'll be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Boston, September, 20, uh, September 30th, folks. We are coming up to Boston. We're going to be doing a workshop. That workshop is sponsored by Nadex. That workshop, folks, is a free workshop. Uh, Nadex is sponsoring the workshop. Uh, it's going to be at the Boston Marriott, which is in Burlington, Mass. Come visit us. If you go to the front page of TFNN, you're going to see the sign-up sheet right there. Uh, the workshop is going to start at 7.45 in the morning, we have a nice uh, continental breakfast. You're going to sign in. Uh, bottom line, um, then Dan, Dan Cook from Nadex is going to do 15 minutes. My son Tommy's going to do 15 minutes introducing the workshop. I'm going to be up there for an hour and a half teaching the art of timing the trade from 9 to 9.30. We have a 15-minute break, coffee break. Daryl Martin, uh, he's going to be doing another hour and a half. And then Daryl and myself from 12.15 to 1 o'clock. We're going to be taking questions and answers. So September 30th, folks, I'm going to be talking about quality volume, cause and effect, ABC structures, swing points, testing, 
Uh, you want to come to a great workshop? And um, by the way, you get a free copy of my book, The Art of Time in the Trade, uh, How Price and Volume Move Markets. Uh, you can check it out on the front page of TFNN, September 30th, uh, sponsored by Nadex. Market-wise out here, bottom line, uh, NDX 100, you got, over, you got a new high. Volume, light volume. Uh, tomorrow, I expect you, you're going to see the same thing. T tomorrow, we're going to have really light volume. Um, um, so we'll see uh, even coming into this close. It's going to be pretty wild coming into the close. You know, the, the NDX 100, if you want to see how tests get done, let's, let's talk test. Uh, you're going to see it right here inside the, the queues. So the queues, they just spiked to... 146, I think, let's see what they spiked to. 146.21, the high that they're going after, they're not gonna have the volume, so this is where you're gonna see whether they get the price or not. Uh, you close over 145.96, you can get higher. And uh, right now we're at 146.07, so you, it, it's pretty cool. You're talking nine pennies away. Which way is it gonna go, baby? You stay right there, folks, we'll be coming back. Uh, after the close at 4 o'clock, and we'll let you know exactly which way that went. Dow Industrials up 74, NASDAQ up 60, S&P's up 15 and a half. We're going to be right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Let's go to Marty in Worcester. Hey, Marty, what's going on? Uh, hi, Mr. O'Brien. How are you? I'm doing great. How you been, man? Not bad. You know, you guys over the time and with a few of your courses and seminars, you know, you taught me how to fish. That's a beautiful thing, brother. Yeah, it's true. And so what happens is I still listen all the time and to not only you but some of the others sure. to you know get an idea where the fish might be biting as far as your services they're a bargain when you compare them to a certain prominent man with real estate courses at $35,000 and no contact with the lecturers afterwards at all and you think of what you guys do for a few hundred and you can get access and ask questions forever you know it's a great deal no, no, we appreciate the growling problem with us out here. now Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. We're kicking into the Labor Day weekend. Gotta love it. To begin, a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your body are, what the needs of your mind are, and what fits well with you. There are millions of men and women. Some of them make a good match for you and others won't. The two of you only need to be like a what? Like a key and a lock. A match that works. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 59, NASDAQ up 60, S&P's up 14 and a half. Gold contract up $13.20, trading at $13.27, 20 an ounce. Gold caught a big bid. Silver up $0.16, cents, $17.66. Silver also caught the bid. But both in gold and silver, folks, uh, coming into this long weekend, it looks like they're, they're going to make a run. They're running now, and it, look, it doesn't look like they want to stop. Platinum. Platinum up 8 bucks, $9.99 an ounce. You get copper up a penny and a half at 310 a pound. Light sweet crude up a buck 13, $47.09 a barrel. Notes. 10 year note 
up five ticks, 127.08. 30-year bond up 15 ticks, 157.12. Notes and bonds also, folks. Right now, we are on the 10-year, we're at a six-month low. We're at 2.1 on the 10-year. Now, the way this is trading right now, it looks to me that what we're going to have out here is that this is now going after the highs of last November. In November at the election, folks, bottom line, gold got smoked. Bonds got smoked. The bond market went from 131 to 127. Uh, bottom line, you're at 127.08 again. You're into the bar. Looks like 131 is game again. And what does that do? It's just amazing. That's going to bring the 10-year at 2 or actually under 2% once again. And, um, you know, yes, lower rates, higher yield. Uh, lower, higher price, lower yield. Uh, King dollar. King dollar down 208 ticks, traded at 92.615. King dollar, folks, you get monster sellers inside King dollar. They just can't handle it. Uh, King dollar got to a price point today of 93.305, gave it up. Uh, you know, you came down 700 ticks from there. Uh, King dollar looks like it's going to go right after its swing low, 91.550. The real kicker here is going to be you're coming into the Labor Day weekend. You do have a jobs number tomorrow. Bottom line, you know, we'll see where that comes out. Uh, most times, though, when you're talking uh, Labor Day weekend, end of the summer, you're talking about a very slow day. Uh, the way that the bond market has traded today, the way that the gold market has traded, and the way that the currency market has traded, uh, it looks to me like we're going to have some heavy volatility, at least in the morning out here. And more than likely, we're going to have heavy volatility uh, overnight. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? You have the SPY closed up a buck 48. You've done 82 million shares. You're trading 247.49. And uh, bottom line, you're, you're into the lows of the high. And guess what? That means you can go tag the high, which is 248.91. Uh, that high that was generated out here, that was uh, August 8th. And we're right next to that high. We hit 247.77. What is intriguing, what did happen... Um, if you're listening to that update into the close out here, we had, there was a monster that threw a trade into the uh, futures, folks. Uh, right at the close, too. We were trading uh, 24.74. They nailed 320, 343,000 contracts in one span, which took the S&Ps down five points. Um, so pretty intense. Now, that didn't hit the NDX 100. Um, well, actually, let me go, let me go look. Uh, they, they, it'd be very unusual if they didn't hit both of them. But the, maybe someone was sitting right there eating all those uh, trades up. On, yeah, the, the, so this was the difference. So check this out. So you had the same deal inside the, and the, and the NQs also. But inside the NQs, someone's sitting there buying those contracts, okay? So you had the same trade. That's what normally ends up happening. If an operator is hitting one indice, folks, they hit them all. Uh, the difference being is that they couldn't get the, the cues down. So that means that someone else, there's another monster that was sitting right there and ate them all up. Uh, S&Ps, not the same thing. Uh, S&Ps, uh, they, they got that S&P and they hit it. Uh, you know, the SPY went from a price point of 247.77 uh, down to, uh, to 247.22. That's a, that's a big move, by the way, uh, for the SPY in a matter of uh, just uh, four minutes. No, no two ways about that. Uh, gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract coming into the long weekend. You went from a price point today of 1302 to 1327. Gold broke topside last week. You had the wide price spread. You had the volume. Now what we have is this, folks. You know, I talk about this a lot when you have large consolidations. You're away from the consolidation, and that's exactly what you want to be when you have a solid break top side. Uh, the break top side is getting away from 1294 and 1300. And what we did out here, you got, it had the fast price spread uh, last Friday. Uh, you get to, you go 1293, you get up to a 1311. We go to 1323, and then you drift down lower yesterday. This morning you got down to 1298, and it just said, see you later, I'm not staying there, and exploded topside. And this is 
way away from now. Well, it's 23 bucks away from the bottom of the consolidation. Uh, and the way that sets up, when you take a look at it, that's setting up, that you take a look at this continuous contract, what you're going to see out here, your next, your next, your next step up uh, has to do with the swing point that's been laying out here for quite some time. That's the 1377. You can actually make the, what's going to be intriguing out here tomorrow is this. You can make the case right now that gold actually wants to go to 1602. Where I'm coming from the 1602, this is what it is. April of 2013, we went from 1602 to 1323. Fast, furious, all of the above. That being said, what you're going to see is that if you're taking a, a trend line right off that level, what you're going to see was 13, it's actually uh, 16. What you're going to see is that we broke that 1600 trend line with conviction. So 1602 is actually a number. Uh, first stop though, guess what, 1377. That's a nice number, that 1302. Because what you also have is that the bottom of that bar is 1323, and that's what we're coming into now. You stay right there, folks, and we come right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow finished up 55, NASDAQ up 60, S&P is up 14 and a half. We had a question, uh, you know, unfortunately with that huge amount of destruction in the Houston area, you know, you look at a couple of these home builders and uh, do you think uh, they can do any, you know, are they going to get some business? So 
if we look at D.H. Horton, uh, D.H. Horton does a lot of business down there. You know, the low for the year in D.H. Horton is 26, the high is 37. And, you know, th this, this equity has already really done very well, period. Uh, in fact, you got, let me see. I think it's on an ABC up anyway. Let me put this on a monthly. Okay, so on a monthly... No, it's not on an ABC app, but on a monthly, let me put this back on closer so you can, you know, you get, you're going to go after the high. It has a high volume high, number one of 37.44, and we'll see. If you take that out, then you do have a small ABC, uh, about five bucks, which will get you about to the $40 market. Right now, you're at 36 uh, 15. What does happen, this, this is what uh, also will happen, well, I'm sure it already happened. So the high of 2005 in D.H. Horton is 42. It's going after the 42. So what also happens, folks, is that the um, amount of uh, materials go up, labor goes up, all of that goes up. So it is, it is much harder, actually, to uh, get things built um, at a reasonable price. That's, uh, and in this particular case, uh, I expect you're going to see that in a huge way because of the amount of destruction that uh, is in that whole area. Now, the thing that is, I suspect that I'm hoping a conversation is going to take place in the next, whether it's three or four months after folks basically, you know, get settled in a bit, um, as to regulations and just how much you can basically cement over the world. Um, because in Houston, folks, so check this out. This is, this is Texas for you, okay? Bottom line, they don't like regular, like regulations. They don't have a state regulation on building, period. There's, there's no such thing, uh, which is pretty incredible, okay? Uh, that's one of the reasons that they can build everywhere they want. Now, that being said, if you heard when Andy was on, what had happened is that where Andy's son was, he was downtown in the main building, right? Well, they didn't have, the reason they didn't have problems in the downtown with all this rain is the aspect that, of course, when they were building all those high rises downtown, you had huge sewer systems, you had all of that because you had to, right? Where folks got smoked in a big way had to do with, they, they cemented over 25% of their wetlands, folks. So, um, you know, if you know anything about Houston, you know, it's a great place that these large, big industrial companies have done huge amounts of business there. And many of the things that we actually use every day, probably the chemicals come from there. Meaning, see, they, they have the oil that comes in there, then you get the refineries, then you have all these chemical plants in order to make all this type of material that we use, whether it's in cars, and we use it every day. That's the bottom line. That being said, what all those huge flood areas have to do with the amount that has been cemented over. So I expect what you're going to see, you know, um, they better have a conversation because guess what? You can, you can have your point of view as much as you want, whether uh, you have climate warming, you don't have climate warming, you have all of the above. The fact is you take cement, you put it over wetlands, and water has nowhere to go. That's what's going to happen. You're going to get flooded out. Just, just try it at home. You know what I mean? It's, it's real, real simple. The earth, basically, you need earth for the water to go down in. You don't have earth? Guess what? Where's it going to go? And, of course, in this particular case, we've, we've never had that much rain in the United States. That's for sure. That's, uh, that broke all records. That's what it said in the paper this morning. So, bad scene. No doubt about that. 877-927-6648. Let's get over and take a look at that 30-year bond. So the 30-year bond out here today, the thing that's intriguing here is that you, you definitely had the 10-year and the 30-year. They moved higher today. They had volume today. They had price today. And it's like, why? Because the market itself, folks, was up good. We're at 157.13. Now, we're over the June high in the 30-year. That is saying this, this 30 year also wants to take off top side. And if the 30 year is taken off top side, that means that you're going to have risk off again. And risk off means volatility inside the marketplace. It's just, it looks to me like the 30 year wants to run to 164. And what has happened also is this in November, 
bonds went from 164, the 30 year, to 155. They got smoked, just like gold got smoked. The market was looking that we we're going to get all this infrastructure done. They thought rates were going to go up. Bottom line, nothing's got done. The market's saying now nothing's going to get done. And so everything is reversed. Now, the, the S&Ps haven't reversed, but the currency is reversed. The bonds have reversed. This, this move here up to 164, you get to 164, guess what? It's going to go right back to the highs of 177. And that, if that's what we have happening, um, that means we're going to be down to 1.5% in the 10 year, 1.5, it's hard to believe. And then the real kick is gonna be, does that dollar, um, you know, come down and get into, number one, the 88 area. The 88 is the highs of 2008 and 2010. And if it gets it into, like, within two points of 88, man, it's, it's, it's big problems. It's, you know, it, and then you're talking about a $73. And a $73, um, turns into, uh, you know, it, it doesn't turn into a problem if we're only spending our, our money inside the U.S. Because what happens is that you can't go, you know, basically, it is what it is. It does take our wealth very quickly when you go outside the country. And you get, you got to, you got to wrap your head around that a bit. That's, that's the other side of that. So, uh, it's, it's a big number. We to take a look at the XAU, the HUI. Uh, you know, XAU caught a bid out here, up $1.97 today, trading $90.12. The high it's going after is the April high of 90.82. Gold bugs index, same type of setup in the gold bugs index, uh, up four bucks. You know, you're at 212. This is trying to get into the 216.56. You know, so what I do expect you're going to do is uh, we're going to be more than likely making those runs tomorrow. Now, as you come over to our website at TFNN, don't forget, folks, over the weekend, you can come over to our website. I know it's only Thursday, but plenty of you folks will be on the road tomorrow, so you might not hear the program. Uh, we are coming up to Boston. Nadex uh, is sponsoring a live workshop. This workshop is going to be on September 30th. Uh, we get a nice continental breakfast from 7.45 to 8.30. Then Dan Cook from Natix is going to be speaking 8.30 to quarter or 9. My son Tommy, quarter or 9 uh, to 9. I'm going to be up for an hour and a half uh, teaching the art of time in the trade. We're going to be talking, I'm going to be talking about quality volume, cause and effect, the ABC structure, swing points and testing. Coffee break, Daryl Martin's going to be up teaching for another hour and a half. And then we're both going to be up there for an additional 45 minutes. Now, all that's free, folks. Uh, Natix is picking up the tab. I do appreciate that. And on top of that, they're picking up the tab. Uh, everyone that comes, you're going to get a book, The Art of Time in the Trade. You're going to get a signed book. So check it out on the front page of TFNN. Come visit us with all the Tigers and Tigers. It's going to be September 30th uh, at the Boston Marriott, which is in Burlington, Mass. So it has a great circumference, whether you're in Maine, whether you're down the Cape, whether you're in Boston, to get there. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking to open your portfolio to a world of opportunity, consider the new Market Safe Emerging Currency CD from Everbank. This three-year U.S. dollars nominated CD gives you exposure to five equally weighted currencies from Brazil, China, India, Indonesia, and Turkey at a time when experts see great potential for global growth. Even better, it features a 7.0 leverage factor, which means you could earn a potential market upside payment of seven times the CD's performance at maturity with no cap if the currencies increase in value over the CD's term. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. The September 28th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a division of TIAA, FSB, member FDIC. Tom O'Brien has just announced that he'll be coming to Boston September 30th for a free workshop, The Art of Timing the Trade. 
Join Tom O'Brien Saturday morning, September 30th at the Boston Marriott in Burlington, Massachusetts as he breaks down his trading methodology and provides you with the tools to become a more successful and profitable trader. Everyone that attends in person will receive a free signed copy of Tom's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. Daryl Martin from Apex Investing Institute will also be presenting for 90 minutes at this free event. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. Join me in Boston on September 30th as I return to my hometown for a workshop about the art of timing the trade. I look forward to seeing all the tigers and tigresses for this special free event. All action starts early at 7.30 a.m. with a continental breakfast and wraps up at about 1 p.m. Topics that Tom will be covering during his presentation include quality volume, cause and effect, ABC structures, swing points, and much, much more. For all the information on this free Boston event taking place Saturday, September 30th, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade Think or Swim is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Let's go over to uh, Lululemon. Uh, they just come out with numbers. Uh, Lululemon closed at $57.55. That's trading up about $4 right now, $61.30. Let's see what they have to say. So they had a... Uh, Okay, Lululemon um, reassured investors that the athletic apparel, uh, apparel trend isn't dead. Shares of the retail surged in late trading after the company posted second quarter profit and, sa and sales that topped analyst estimates. The results are a bright spot following uh, just pending quality results from a finish line. Um, you know, bottom line, that, that's, a that's a sneaker make a whole big difference, uh, folks, than what Lululemon has. And if you were listening to um, the update this morning from my man, Mr. Kevin Hinks from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim. Uh, he was talking about uh, Lululemon and uh, bottom line is that they were uh, during swim lessons at 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, they were setting up a couple uh, trades uh, inside Lululemon. So it's, it's pretty cool um, how this whole thing shook out. So let's see what their the exact numbers are. I got to get the whole, let me see, maybe it's this one. I'll get that, baby. One second. C N. Okay, third. Just bear with me one second, folks. It, when these come out, you always. What happens is there's so many stories at the same time. There's always one story that it just has all the numbers, and that's what I'm looking for right now. Nope. That's uh, okay. One more shot at this. Okay, so we are looking at, okay, got it. Thank God, small and big miracles. Okay, so uh, they see, this is how this, uh, look, there's some gross margins, wow. Okay, so the, the estimate for the gross margins was 50.5%. Now their gross margins are 51.2%. That, that's a wholesale gross margin, isn't that wild? Uh, the estimate, the... Their estimate for the second quarter revenue was $567 million. They took in $581 million. Uh, same, steel, same store comp sales was up plus 2%. They, the estimate was 1.5%. Uh, so 
You had the comp up. You had the revenue up. The margins were up. Earnings per share, the estimate was 35 cents. They made 39. Uh, on the third quarter, so now this is the projection going forward. They see that for the fiscal year, uh, they had estimated 2.3 billion to 2.35 billion. Now they brought that bill that up, man. They brought that up big. They brought that up to 2.55 billion to 2.6 billion. Their third quarter revenue number they brought um, up from 605 million to 615. Their earnings per share, the estimate was 52 cents. Um, at the, but the lower end of that estimate was 44. The lower end of the estimate they figure now is, over, is at 50. So that's a big number, too. And the earnings per share, man, this is a big number. Uh, the, they had an estimate, this is for the, for the full year. The estimate prior to today was $2.16. Now they're looking at the low end of $2.35 and the high end of $2.42. So you get some decent numbers out here. So 61.30. Let's take a look here and see what this looks like. So three months ago, the stock said 47. Because this stock, like everything else in that Aperol business, has, uh, has got killed. Yeah, it's not, it's not as bad, though. This is, that's been a consolidation for a long period of time, actually. So 61. So the highs on this are 82. Yeah, this consolidation this is going to stay in place. This has been a consolid. Oh, this is wild. This has been consolidating, folks, since uh, June of 2011. And the low of the consolidation is 36. The high of the consolidation is 82. Bottom line, that sets up that. Guess what? 82 is going to end up coming at you again. Longer term, but that's how that kind of set that sets up. So, be up like five bucks tomorrow. Uh, how about the amount of um, <laughs> a margin though for a growth? So picture that, folks. That's the gross margin on a wholesaler, 52%. Now picture that you have to, they have to, they're selling it to a retailer. Then, of course, the retailer is going to sell it to us, right? Wow. I mean, there is, uh, it's, it's hard to believe, actually, the type of mock-up uh, on a lot of these uh, clothes, all of the above. You know, sneakers, no, no two ways about that. 877-927-6648. Let's get over and take a look at the uh, crude oil market. Oh, yeah. So gasoline. Let's hit gasoline first. I, I talked about this in the update. So this is what has happened with gasoline, folks. In the future market, there's a limit on the way up and a limit on the way down. And it's very unusual if those limits ever get hit. You know, you see them maybe once a year. Sometimes you don't even see them for two or three years at a time. Well, we almost hit it today in gasoline. The up limit was $1.78.75. We hit $1.78.25. So we're at $1.76. That means that you went up almost 13 cents. And what you have is this, is that in two weeks, you went from $1.45 to $1.76. In three days, we've gone from $1.55 to $1.76. So I suggest that if you have anything that has to get filled up, go do it. Uh, because what you're going to see is that some of these gas stations might have already went up. Many of the, if you're talking a marina, if you're talking, um, let's, let's talk now, if you're up in the northeast, you know, you're coming into the winter, if you have to get oil, um, it's possible that your supplier hasn't gone up yet because they'd have to be on it so quick that what normally happens is this. Normally happens, let's say, you know, suppliers get their gas and oil in. They basically price it out. They're, they're pumping it along. Um, the heating oil has gone from $1.62 to $1.73. That's wholesale in three days. Um, oh, yeah. So Duffy's telling me, yeah. So, it's, it, yeah, so at these gas stations, this is out in uh, Colorado. Um, one of our targets saying, bang, they went up 30 cents today. And so... It, it may be happening already. I'm sure most of it's happening already. Um, I would say that a lot of the marine is it hasn't happened. If you have a boat that you need a lot of gas in, um, call them up and find out what it is. Because what does happen at marinas is that they're, they're not as attuned as the gas station. That's, it's a big profit center for them. But what ends up happening is that they normally price it out 
as to they get their tanks filled up, they price it out, and then they go from there. Um, so anyway, um, these, these prices, let's see, let's go to heating oil again. So heating oil was up 7.5%. You're at $1.73. And this also launched, yeah, this launched at buck seventy. So this is, these prices can go a lot higher very quickly, you know, because what you, what, you ha what you have here, which, what is unusual is that you didn't have the crude go up. You had the refinery go up. I mean, the, the gasoline go up very quickly. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 55, NASDAQ up 60, S&P's up 14. We'll get it right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. Take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Javi. Javi did uh, some heavy destruction, and now, you know, this is uh, Irma. Irma, folks, uh, is hanging out here in the Atlantic right now. If you happen to be watching Tiger TV, I just put a little picture up of Irma. Now, Irma is way too far away at this particular point to figure out where uh, it may hit in the United States. Uh, this is what the uh, Bureau, uh, the Weather Bureau is saying at this particular point. You have uh, traders keeping a wary eye on, hur on a hurricane that's growing in strength in the eastern Atlantic after the destruction that was brought on by Harvey. Irma is located 650 miles west of Cabo Verde Islands, um, which 
it became the fourth hurricane in the Atlantic Thursday. Uh, it's rapidly intensifying. It has winds of 100 miles an hour right now, uh, and it is forecast to become a major hurricane uh, later today. <laughs> Not good. Um, Irma right now is 10 days away from the United States, uh, with long-term models showing that the storm could go anywhere. Some models show it going to the Gulf of Mexico, while others uh, all the way up to Maine. Uh, Chris Hyde, uh, a meteorologist at the uh, U.S. Weather Service, has said in a phone interview, um, Hurricane Harvey brought historic rains and deadly flooding uh, to the Texas area as it came ashore, crippling the energies, uh, the nation's energy hub, bringing half the Gulf, uh, half the Gulf Coast oil refining capacity offline. As it stands, Irma has a slightly higher probability of hitting the U U.S. East Coast than avoiding the energy production. Uh, producing areas of the Gulf, although it's still uh, early, too early to tell uh, that aspect. Uh, bottom line, um, you want to, we all want to keep an eye on this, folks. Uh, this is, ap I think, yeah, this is definitely, uh, well, I guess it's not early for these types of storms, because what did happen with Harvey, uh, Harvey was, uh, what, this is when Katrina came in, right? Katrina came in, I forget how many years ago. I should remember, because I was there. We stuck him. New Orleans for 10 days. Um, but bottom line, it was, I believe, was the same week. So these storms are pretty intense. Um, and you can see, if you happen to be watching Tiger TV, uh, that this Gulf, folks, this Gulf right now, um, you know, it's, it's further out in the ocean right now. But you get into the Gulf, the Gulf water right now is bath water, folks. The Gulf water is approximately... 89 degrees, you know, if you're fishing, you don't go fishing, you have to go out about the 35 miles in order for any of the fish to hang around, because guess what, the fish don't like that hot water either. No, you know, so bottom line, that's why you see that type of an intensity. Now, Andy Heck, when I had him on, he was asking about the aspect of how much uh, an inch of rain equals how much snow. Well, an inch of rain, one inch of rain is equals one foot of snow, and of course, Houston got like 50 inches of rain. Now that doesn't mean, I had said to my son this morning, well, oh my God, what happens if you get 50 feet of snow? Well, that's almost unthinkable. And the reason has to do with the way that the Gulf of Mexico is so hot that you can get that type of rain on a continual basis, okay? What happens on these winter storms is that you need something to collect that snow and to keep going. Now, the a collection area, no doubt, and I know we had a bunch of tigers and tigresses up there, is in, 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 the, in the Buffalo area. Because in the Buffalo area, what does end up happening is that that stream that keeps going round and round and round, it goes off to the lake, picks up water in the lake, brings it back in snow, comes back again. But, you know, I don't expect we're going to get any 50 feet of snow. Uh, out in Colorado, they want, they want 50 feet of snow out in Colorado. It's going to be pretty wild. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volumes. Well, actually, let's go see what we got came in with volume today. So, on the NYSE, we did 941 million. Now, that's impressive. That's impressive. That is impressive. So, on the, on the NASDAQ Composite, we did 1.8. Let's go. I want to go look at this. That's, that's an expansion of volume inside this. Uh, and you couldn't go anywhere. Oh, this is interesting, man. Okay, so you had an expansion of volume. It, it tried to get up into the 17th, which is 21,984. We hit 21,985. Oh, my God. And closed. Okay, so the 17th. Let me look at this. So we tested the 17th inside the NYSE today. We tested it with volume, so that means it can get up to that high again. Yeah, because on the 17th, let me make sure that's the right day. We came down. Well, 17th, we came down. Um, and we we actually, let me, okay, so we went into the 10th also. The 10th of August, the end of the 17th. So the 10th of August, we did 859. On both cases, uh, bottom line, that means that that high of today inside the Dow Industrials can get tested out again. What I do expect we're going to see out here uh, tonight is that we're going to see some volatility. And where I'm going with that, folks, it, it has to do with the way this dollar has been trading all day, gold has been trading all day, and the bonds. Uh, if we go over, let's go take a look at the yen. So the yen, 
The yen right now, that couldn't hold price. So that got up to 110.67, gave it up. Yeah, it looks like the yen's going to go back down to 109. You break 109. Oh, interesting. Okay, so yeah, you break 109. You want to go down to 106. You want to go down to uh, 99. Yeah, this yen is stair-stepping down. So you get that yen stair-stepping down, <laughs> that's going to put some monster firepower uh, into the uh, gold contract. The gold, the gold contract flat out has power, um, and it looks like it's going to be getting more power because just remember something. When you have a large consolidation like this, which gold had. Uh, gold was in a consolidation uh, for like a good, yeah, a good seven months. You broke out of it and you broke out of it with conviction. There's not much stopping it um, because of the fact that it was so frustrating each and every time it gets to the top of that bar, couldn't make it. And now what you have, of course, is that you have the aspect of you have inflows coming into the GLD. Uh, let's see if we can have this, uh, if we know what this is today. Okay, uh, so uh, today's the 31st. Okay, we, we'll get this in a little bit. So right now you have 816.43 metric tons. That's physical gold inside the spiders. Uh, well, not the spiders, inside the SPDR Gold Trust. That's, that's the GLD. I will get this number tonight. What I expect you're going to see in this number tonight, that there'll be a, a net positive in this number tonight, meaning that uh, the, the GLD has to go out and, and buy more gold tonight. And that's where the chicken or the egg starts and stays in a big way. Because as soon as they have to go out and buy more gold, guess what? The futures go up. As the futures go up, what ends up happening? They have to go out and buy more gold. That's These ETF structures, you really want to wrap your head around understanding how they work because of the fact that they move markets. And what does happen is that when you get a trend going, you know, that trend can last for quite a while. When the trend gets broken, it's then it's, it's heaven when it's going the way you, go, you want to go, and it's hell when it's going the other way. Because when it's going the other way, just the opposite happens. You start selling down, and the, let's say in the gold market, they got to sell the gold. As they sell the gold, the futures get on more. Okay, so there's always, those, those things are important to understand. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. And don't forget, you can get us 24 hours a day right on your cell phone, tfnn.com. Hit Tiger TV. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. 
With over $56 million in cash and over $66 million in working capital, Great Panther Silver is positioned as a company with a solid foundation and poised for growth. While completely unhedged to the price of silver, Great Panther retains 100% ownership in two producing mines in Mexico, which is the top silver producing country in the world, along with future potential production in Peru. Great Panther is highly leveraged to the price of silver, and after a great year of performance in 2016, Great Panther Silver has a strong outlook for 2017 as well. With good liquidity in trading and strong fundamentals on the balance sheet, while remaining completely unhedged to the price of gold and silver, now is a perfect time to take a closer look at this equity. If you'd like to find out more about Great Panther Silver, then go to greatpanther.com or check them out on the NYSE market, symbol GPL, or the TSX, symbol GPR. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, and, you know, if you didn't hear it yet, folks, this is pretty amazing that you had um, Wells Fargo, uh, bottom line, uh, they came out uh, and they raised the estimate of the amount of uh, fraudulent bank accounts that they opened by 67%. Okay? <laughs> this is like, you got to be kidding me. Uh, so, what it had happened here is that now they're disclosing that they accounts that customers didn't even know about and charged them. Yeah. It's like, you got to be kidding me. Like, how does this work? And now this is an aspect, you got to remember something, that the CEO, he got canned, right? Uh, they were up in front of Congress. They, of course, they said, no, we have everything under control. Bottom line, you know. We know that nothing has happened. We'll find out, if, and I don't expect anything will happen because after the downdraft and the depression of 2007 and 2008, folks, okay, um, the bottom line, we know that nothing happened. And in fact, it's not even that nothing happened. You, you hear people arguing that banks need less regulation. It's like, really? You gotta be kidding me. They need less, less regulation? Like, pitch this for a second. How, if this is not institutionalized, how can you open 3.5 million accounts? It just, if, if you were in any city in this country and you had any other company, you had a small company, and you had fraudulent behavior like that, folks, where would you be? Yeah, you'd be in jail. There's no doubt about it. Bottom line, no one has been held accountable, and I expect no one's going to be. You know, you're going to have Congress, you're going to have everyone yapping out here. We're coming back. We're going to make sure that, you know, things are going to be taken care of. Yeah, they might hold hearings, folks. Uh, the, the, amazing, the amazing thing to me, though, it just doesn't stop. So what has happened, it's got so institutionalized that they know it's just part of the overhead. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great night, safe night. If you're traveling, be safe. Look forward to speaking right back here tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Go get them, folks. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com.